Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Rekha Kadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the, to the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlikened to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So this your brother Shapar, man. So this going to kind of be, a, you know, another like, kind of like, I had a conversation with my pops yesterday. He well into his 70s, 76, whatever, 77, whatever. So, um... You know, got a little history, but let me get a scripture for I even. <laughs> let, let, let me get a scripture, man. Let me get a scripture. So I know you know you younger brothers, you know, probably might have similar situations. So I was the spirit was on me, like maybe, you know, maybe, you know, filter it through the scriptures and law willing somebody else might get something out of it. You know what I mean? So, let's go. Let's go Matthew um, 6 and, and this is the prayer, right? The prayer. So, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, right? And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Here's the point though, right? For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Matthew 6 and 14. For... If ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So, so now going back to the conversation I had with my, with my pops, right? So, I only seen him, the last time I seen him was 18 years old. And I'm 54. I'll be 55. So the last time I seen him, I was 18 years old. I seen him for the first time at, say, maybe 11. 11, he bought me a couple of pair of shoes, pair, pair of Nike, leather Nikes, and some British walkers, right? I, the old head, older heads are know what I'm talking about. Some bit British walkers, you know, British walkers, playboys. And, you know, those was the joints before Wallabies kind of came out. Clocks and all that. So, he bought me a pair of sneakers, pair of shoes. I was around, I think, 11, maybe 13. Then I seen him again at 15. You know, he rolled by with, with a couple of his homeboys or whatever. Gave me $100. I ain't seen him again till I was 18. That was the last time I seen him. We we had, you know, conversations on the phone or whatever the case. So we really pretty much never had a relationship. And he knew where I lived at. He was in Long Beach, Long Island. I was in Brooklyn, New York. So maybe an hour and a half drive away. Never really got to see him or whatever, right? So that get back to this scripture, right? And I get back to the, to the um, you know, for if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And so, you know, the curses, you know, you got the curses of Deuteronomy where we, we lost as a people. You got the curse, the, the Jeremiah 31 and 22, the Lord will, um, you know, create a new thing on the earth. The woman shall compass a man, right? So we talking, and in the past when I talked to him, 
you know, the conversation was about uh, my, you know, my, my, you know, his parents and like that, right? And so I was under the impression I was um, Sioux Indian, Sioux, Native American. So we we speaking last night, and I guess it's all spiritual, because I was kind of, you know, I was kind of wondering about that too. So you know, we having a conversation last night, and I'm like, so you know, you know, pops, you know, ex explain to me your moms and your pops and your grandfather and that type of situation, right? And so he goes to proceed to start telling me about his mother. His mother's side of the family. And I'm like, you know, and going back to the curses, right? So I'm like, yo, Pop, it's not, it's not, you know, I get that part. Tell me about your father's side. Tell me about your father's side. Tell me about your father's side. So he said, my, my father and my grandfather was both so-called black men. But then try to get back to the to the grant to the grand to the to the mother side of the family. I'm like, slow down, pop, slow, slow down, man, slow down. The seed go through your father, man. It go the 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 man plants the seed and like that, right? Let's get a scripture. Let's get a scripture. Let's get some scriptures. So lucky if I'm if I'm you know like I said this you know. Just like I did the, um, the, um, what's that, the, um, testimony last week about the, um, <sighs> about the child support, you know, I figured, you know, spirit was on me, I was driving out, driving around a day, early this morning, so, spirit was on me, I just kept coming back to doing something on this, First Kings chapter 8 and 19, nevertheless, thou shalt not build the house, but thy son that shall come forth out of thy loins, he shall build the house unto my name. So, yeah, so, so the, 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 the um, you know, the line, the seed comes out the loins, loins is, you know, your, your, you know, your, your, your sperm, your, your, you know, through the male, through the male. So. So, yeah, so I finally get it out of him that, you know, pretty much I'm not a, I'm not from or not native or Sioux Indian. That's on the mother's side. That's on her side. And mulatto and, and this and that and boop, 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 boop. But father, his grandfather, my, his, my great, my great grandfather, yeah, my, my grandfather. Yeah, my grandfather and my great-grandfather, both of Jake. So, you know, it kind of had me, you know, in the spirit a little bit, little feeling like, dang. You know what I mean? Like, I was really, you know, I was really feeling like I was gay. You know what I'm saying? So I called a brother, Gabar Dama, and I called the, the other brother, Kazak Kaya. I called those two brothers, but I talk and talk, spoke with Gabar Dama last night. And he kind of cheered me up, you know, um, you know, cheered, made my spirit feel a little better. He was like, well, I, when you came up here with me, I could tell you was, you know, I was like, this brother not Northern King, this brother Judah, this brother a lion. I've been wanting to put a lion on one of your garments for a <laughs> And so, yeah, so we had a nice little talk, conversation and everything. But I guess the moral of the story is, you know, I know it get hard for, you know, with, with the history that a lot of us have with our fathers and stuff like that. You got to have a conversation with, with, with you know, if, if, if your pops is still around, you know, you got to have a conversation with not just to understand, you know, get a little understanding into your, your lineage, but also, you know, to let it go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I took his number down because, you know, I I had washed my hands of him. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I had washed my hands of dude. I was like, you know, you know what? I'm done with the excuses. And, I, you know, yeah, I, I, man, look, man, I'm a grown man now. I'm grown. I'm You grown. Enough of the excuses. You didn't do what you did, man, or whatever the case may be. So, 
all that, I love you, jazz, and this and this and that, like, <laughs> Exodus chapter 1, verse 5, and all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls, for Joseph was in Egypt already, out the loins, out the male, the male, the sea controls, determines who you are, man, the sea determines who you are, the sea, man, it's not through your mother, man, it's not through your mother's side, and I know, you know, we've all raised under that spirit of, you know, the queen of heaven spirit, where, you know, the mother, we love our mothers, as you should, and you should love your father, man. Or at least show a little respect for him. You know what I'm saying? But no matter what, how you feel about it, the scriptures still say this, man. That it comes through your, your father, man. The, who you are according to the scripture. And ultimately, it's all in the spirit. So, you know, it's all in the spirit. It's all in the spirit. This is still a spiritual thing. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18 And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month And they declared their pedigrees after their families By the house of their fathers By the house of their fathers According to the number of the names from 20 years old and upwards by their pole Yeah, it's by your father you read on down, it says Reuben, if Reuben, families by the house of their father, yeah, Reuben, Simeon by their generations after their families by the house of their fathers, Gad and so on, Judah and so on and so on, by the house of your fathers, man, so it go by your father, man, but uh, again, back to the main point, man, is I had a conversation with my pops, and like I said, fifty and fifty-five years, I might have had seen him three times, and maybe had five conversations with him. Seven, being nice, I say seven conversations with him. You know, never really could get. You know, see, get past the fact, you know, because, you know, you grow up feeling like, yo, why this mother, why this mother sucker don't, you know, <laughs> why, why, why is he on a milk carton? Why I can't find this nigga, right? Why I don't see him? You know what I'm saying? Other, other um kids, you know, fathers come home giving them allowance or whatever the case. And I'm like, you know, this guy ain't never, no, never nowhere. But you got to forgive and let go, man. And you got to let go because you got to think about it. We was going at the other gods. We was doing this. We was doing that. So the Lord, you know, if the Lord was to act like us <laughs> and, and not and hold on to shit, <laughs> the whole nation of Israel would be done. <laughs> we would be toasted if the Lord was on something. You know what? I'm going to just stay mad forever at y'all, Israel. Then you would be like, Bishop Nate say, oh, you're you going to be burning in hell forever. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, I'm going to close out. I think I done rattled enough. But, yeah, y'all got to have conversations with y'all pops, with y'all family. Yeah, it might be your mother that, that did it. You know, you good with your pops. And your mother is the one that's been, you know, kind of absent. Got to let let that, you got to let some of that stuff go. You got to let that stuff go. It's it's Spiritually, it's for the best, man. And, and then you don't want to be a hypocrite. You out here teaching, teaching and, and bringing out the scriptures. And then you still, you know, you know, we battle against the flesh, though. That's what we battle against. We battle against the flesh, man. You know, because our spirits want to do the right thing. But the flesh sometimes is 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 different. So, yeah, but I'm going to um, go ahead and close out. So, yeah, again. So, with that one, have these conversations, man. Had these and women had these conversations. So with that one, we gonna close out all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhahakwadash, double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. 
To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yashirala, and the Baba Baba, Baraka Thumb family, Shalom.